Longo. He seems to get better with age, kind of like a fine wine. Oh, what a save! Oh, my God. Oh, highlight stop! You won't see him much better than that! Roberto Luongo, magnifique! Is he a Hall of Famer in the future? For me, absolutely. No doubt about it. Roberto Luongo gives way for James Reimer tonight. Nice little competition in the crease for the Florida Panthers right now. But if you look at the Twitterverse, Roberto Luongo dominates. He is the perfect subject of the profiles with Sofia Yurskovich. Thanks, Darren. In this week's profiles, we are taking a look at Roberto Luongo and his game on social media. If you don't already follow him on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do. And many of you already know that he is hilarious. His tweets will have you laughing and sometimes even shaking your head. And for someone who has so much wit, I wanted to get to know what he was like as a kid. Was he always this funny and outgoing guy, the guy that he is today? Well, it turns out actually he was a little different. I was very shy and reserved, uh, quiet. So uh, I, was, I was actually totally different, uh, quite the opposite how I am now. We had the wooden spoon, my dad had a uh, slipper. If you were really bad, maybe the belt came out, but I was a pretty good kid though. I, I never didn't get in really in trouble that much, not as much as my brothers. I was quiet, I barely spoke. I didn't, especially I never, sl never spoke to girls. When I met my wife, <laughs> that's when I started talking to girls, that was it. Okay, I hardly believe the last part, but definitely can buy that he was a shy kid. So when did he become more outgoing? I'd say probably in my early 20s, I started breaking out of my shell a little bit. Hanging out with friends, always joking around, and, and I really liked uh, to be sarcastic, and so do my friends. So, uh, you know, when we're together, we're always messing around, cutting each other up or, or making fun of each other and things like that. So that's where uh, I think my humor comes from. We live in a digital age, so his humor can easily be shared online. And let me tell you, Roberto has tweeted some gold. It's always been about being funny. I think one of my first uh, tweets ever was was uh, obviously a bathroom joke. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we always got to go back to the well on that one. In his own words, his humor is edgy. Sometimes he pokes fun at other guys in the league. And sometimes it's self-deprecating. Case in point, his recent tweet about Tom Brady's Super Bowl win. The funny thing is, is my youngest brother called me after my last tweet about Tom Brady and that... Uh, and he was like, bro, he's like, that's no way you thought of that. Like, like, even my own brother doesn't believe me sometimes that, uh, that I come up with my own tweets. I asked him about making fun of himself, if it helps him get ahead of the inevitable headlines that come with being in the spotlight. I think that it helps me actually cope with it, deal with it. If you're able to make fun of it, make light of it, I think it's a good uh, coping mechanism to like accept it and not be a burden on you. Make light of it, good laugh, and then it makes it easier for you to move on and not think about it so much. So Roberto pokes fun at his teammates, himself. Obviously, he can't leave his family out of it. Yes! Are you serious? Right now? Is that your wife who said, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, that was her. She was not, she was as impressed as I was after that. I knew she'd get upset after I did that, so it was part of the whole plan. My wife gets very defensive of the kids, so, you know, if something like that happens, you know, she gets upset with me. So that was, that was the funniest part.